Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to reward customers with points for purchases using points and rewards for WooCommerce plugin by WP Loyalty. Now if you haven't installed the plugin, it's time for you to get it installed and the URL of this particular page is mentioned in the description. Plus, the video on step-by-step -step process of installation is also available in the description. Please feel free to check it out. After installing the plugin successfully, you will be able to reward customers for different actions they make. Out of which this video is all about rewarding them with points for the specific action purchase. Whenever customers purchase products, we're going to reward them with points. Okay, to see or to set up such a campaign, we'll have to go to the WP Loyalties dashboard after you've successfully installed them. Now to create campaigns, let's go to the campaigns tab and start by creating a new reward by clicking on this button, create new campaign. We will have to choose the campaign type now, which is going to be points for purchase. All right. Now let's cl click on create campaign but before which I'm going to tell you scenario is going to be spend one dollar and earn one point for, so for every one dollar spent by the customer we're going to reward them with one point okay to create this campaign let's click on create campaign which will enable us to configure one let's enter the title which is going to be spend one dollar earn one point and we're going to also enter the description which helps customers understand what the campaign is about so I'm going to say earn one point for every one dollar spent okay nice after we have entered the description let's go ahead and set the points to be earned by the customers for x amount i'm going to set the points to one as well as the x amount to one which means customers can get one point for every one dollar they spend you can also enter other conditions such as minimum points a customer can earn for each order, maximum points. Okay, this is to restrict them up to which point they can earn in a particular order. If you do not want it, then just be feel free to set this to zero. And then campaign start date and end date. Now this is the place where you can set a validity for this particular campaign. I am not going to set any validity. The next thing is campaign visibility on ways to earn section. This is recommended to keep it visible. Why? Because on the My Accounts page, in the Points and Rewards page, customers will be able to find or discover the campaign that we have for them and start earning points. Only if you keep them visible, they'll be able to go there and then find out a campaign that is actively running on our store. Okay, so this is recommended to keep visible. There are also advanced settings. This is that which deals with the messages on the product page. Now let's talk about it a little later. All right. Now after you have entered everything, you can also see additional conditions you can add to this particular campaign. But right now I am not opting for any. So let me close this. It's time to save and close this campaign after we have successfully entered all the details and you can see the campaign is created. Now all that we have done so far is we have provided an opportunity for customers to earn points. Okay. And we have also decided on what basis customer earn points right on every purchase so let's move ahead and create a platform for them to redeem the points that they have collected for redeeming rewards we'll have to go to the rewards tab and then click on create new reward and the reward that we're going to create for this particular scenario is going to be points conversion we basically convert points to dollar discounts okay for this let's click on create reward which will enable us to create the reward now I'm going to enter the reward title. I'm going to say spend 500 points for a $5 discount. Okay. So reward description, you can also enter something that describes what the reward is all about. Okay. I'm going to say spend 500 points and get Okay, now that the sample description is entered, let's go to the conversion rate. Here's where you get to define the conversion rate. For example, as discussed, we're going to allow customers to spend 500 points for the worth of a $5 discount. Okay, now since this is a points conversion reward, we need to understand that whatever value we enter here will be used for calculating the conversion ratio. Okay, now the plugin WP Loyalty automatically calculates the value for these points. Now, for example, if customers buy or spend only 100 points, they'll be able to get only $1 discount. Why? Because of the conversion rate we have set here. Okay. 
it depends on how much customer decides to spend right so if he spends 100 he will earn only one discount and if he spends 200 then it'll be two dollars and if he spends 300 it's going to be three dollar and so on so based on the conversion rate we set here the conversion will be made okay i hope that is clear now let's move to the next step which is display name for the coupon when redeeming so when this particular let's say five dollar discount is applied on the cart it comes with this name for the coupon right so if you want to give another name you can also choose to do but i'm going to leave it as it is and then we'll also move on to minimum points a customer can redeem per coupon so if you want to set some minimum and maximum points that customers can redeem per coupon then you can go for it otherwise just leave it empty and then coupon expiry if you want to set an expiry date for this particular coupon you can also do that okay nice after these particular days that you enter here this particular coupon will expire and then reward visibility on reward opportunity section so this is suggested to keep visible because only then customers will be able to discover that they have a reward by going to the reward opportunity section nice isn't it after which we can go ahead and save close if not if you want to add conditions you can click on this add conditions button and add some conditions all right now i'm not going to choose it and then save and close this particular reward and you can see that the reward is also created successfully now we have allowed customers to earn points by creating a campaign we have also created an opportunity for them to redeem the points they have collected by creating a reward nice isn't it let's go ahead and see how this works to see how this works let's go to the storefront and imagine the customer is coming to your store for the first time and goes to the shop page or the product page and he'll be able to find messages like these these are called the earn points messages which can be enabled from the settings and lets customers know how much points they can earn through the purchase of this particular product now how does this point come here is because we have enabled in the settings and this is based on the campaign that we have created since it's one point for every one dollar spent it has been calculated like this and we get this okay nice isn't it so customers will be able to know how many points they're going to earn if they buy this particular product now let's go ahead and add some product to the cart and see what happens let's go to the cart page and you can see there is one sweatshirt i'm going to increase this to three just for us to understand it better right now we have three hundred dollars that we're going to spend and you can see messages like these on the cart page which says finish your order and earn 300 points this is based on the campaign that we have created since it's 300 subtotal here and the campaign that we have created is spend one dollar and get one point we have this 300 points here okay nice and then you also see another message that says you have 400 points on choose your rewards so this one is called the earn points message this is the redeem points message so these messages can be enabled from the settings and you can also customize them all right nice we will talk about all of that later you also have another video in which you can see all of them all right now let's move on and complete this order to earn the 300 points we have okay let me proceed to check out and finish the checkout process by placing the order now after i have placed the order you will be able to see that i have earned 300 points for this order and i have a total of 700 points nice isn't it previously i had 400 points on my account nice now that we have placed the order successfully what we're going to do is i'm going to take you to the customer rewards page which is an exclusive page for customers to know about their points or rewards now you can see i have a total of 700 points and i have not redeemed any of the points and if i go to my reward section i'll be able to see the reward that i can apply now it says spend 500 points for five dollar discount if I click on redeem now button, if you click on redeem now button, you'll be able to see this one, you know, an inline box in which the points and the particular discount is available, is shown to us. All right. So this is based on the available points we have right now. The available points for us for this particular account is 700. And if I redeem 700 points, according to the reward that I have created points conversion, I'm going to receive a $7 discount on my card. So this is what it says. But it's not mandatory for you to redeem all the 700 points you have. You can choose how many points you would like to redeem. So I'm going to say 300. All right. Now you can see according to the value I enter here and based on the conversion rate that we have created, sorry, in the reward, you can see the value changes here. Okay. So you have an option to redeem how much points you would like to use in order to get this particular reward. 
Now, if I click on redeem, after entering the points, I'll be able to see that my cart is ready for the reward. Now, if I go ahead and purchase some products, okay, now if I purchase one product to the cart, then you'll be able to see a reward of $3 is applied to my cart. Why? Because I chose to redeem 300 points. Nice, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching. This is how this particular points for purchase works and this is an absolutely wonderful feature. You would like to test it. Thank you so much for watching.